Nine years after their arrival, the vessels that carried my people were destroyed. Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I'm going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon the sci-fi original television series known as Defiance. I'm going to talk about the entire season 1, which consists of 12 episodes. And without any further ado, let's go and get to it, shall we? Just so you guys know, there will be major spoilers in this video, so if you have not seen the entire season, all 12 episodes, go ahead and pause and stop this video for your own good uh, value and interest, because I will be revealing, ma revealing major plot points. So like I said, stop if you haven't seen the entire season. But otherwise, keep watching, right? Because major spoilers... Are ahead. So Defiance is pretty much about we have aliens that have come, they have invaded Earth, they have terraformed Earth and made it for their own righteousness. That you know they they have made it, you know, terraformed it, made it for their own environment. That way they can have a family there because you know their solar system, you know, there where they live was previously destroyed. We have a town by the name of Defiance because, you know, the whole concept is, you know, aliens don't get along with humans. Well, there's this town called Defiance, and it means exactly what they say. They defy all rules. Aliens and humans do their best to live together in harmony. We have, like, several different alien races. We have, like, the Indigenes, the Irathians, the Castorthans. We have several different alien races, and they do their best to live in this Defiance town even with all the drama that goes on between aliens and humans. Well, we have a character by the name of Joshua Nolan and his daughter, Arissa. And while on their journey to the to Alaska, which is like supposedly like this place where, you know, it's just a great, you know, harmony place, while on their way to Alaska, they come across the city of Defiance, and they end up getting involved in Defiance's troubles. They both end up becoming law keepers, and that's pretty much what the series is about. It takes place in the city of Defiance. It's about the relationship between Joshua Nolan and Arissa, and as time goes on, they pretty much try to keep crime at bay in the city of Defiance. And then, of course, other subplots go on, such as, you know, Macaulay's daughter wanting to get married to Detectar's son, uh, Detectar, you know, trying, you know, becoming a councilman, trying to become mayor, different subplots happening, you know, the artifact, you know, who, what, what is Arissa, you know, what, what's her purpose in the story, what's up with the vision she has, you know, is she a good person, is she a bad person, and if you've watched the series, you know, the plot. That's pretty much the main plot synopsis of the sci-fi original television series known as Defiance, all 12 episodes for the entire season one. Overall, my thoughts and opinions upon the first season, this is a phenomenal and amazing and astounding science fiction series on the Sci-Fi Channel called Defiance. I really enjoyed this series as a whole, and let's talk about some of the reasons why I enjoyed it. Let's talk about some of the actors. Uh, I don't know any of their names, let's just talk about the characters' names. Joshua Nolan plays a great father character, very sympathetic towards his daughter, very compassionate, and you can really tell just by the way the actor portrays his character of Joshua Nolan that he really does care about Arissa. No, he may not be her actual father, but he does care for her, and you know, in the best way suitable, and it's in the best way possible in general. I really like Joshua Nolan's character. He plays his character in a very determined fashion where overall he's just a great character and he's one of my favorite characters in the sci-fi original television series for the first season known as Defiance for the first 12 episodes. Uh, another great character is Arissa's character. She's pretty much I guess you could say like this hardy character, very stubborn character who you know you know, she feels a little out of place sometimes. She does, at first, she doesn't really want to be in Defiance. She wants to go to Alaska. She never feels like she's quite in place because of her being an Irathian and having a, you know, human father. And even though it isn't her, isn't her blood father, it still is pretty much, you know, the best father that she has and the only one that will actually take care of her because, you know, of him killing her family. And if you've seen the series, then you know the plot and that sort of thing. I really enjoy Arissa's character. Once again, I don't know the actress that plays her. I don't know her name, uh, and I don't feel like looking it up. Anyways, uh, I really like Arissa's character. She's really cool, and I like one of the best elements of the series is the relationship portrayed between both Joshua Nolan, the father, and then his daughter, not his blood daughter, but then his daughter character, Arissa. I love the relationship between them. That element, you know, you have a great science fiction concept, 
about, you know, this terraformed Earth. And not only do you have this great science fiction concept, but you also have this underlining relationship between Joshua Nolan and Arisa's character. And that makes it for a very, I guess you could say, heartfelt and sentimental value to a, to a very sci-fi elemental uh, series. And I just love that element. Other characters I like a lot, we have Detectar, which is, which is pretty much our main villain of the show. And he is pretty much the guy, try, you know, his, his, his wife, Stama, uh, you know, the girl that's very, you know, seductive in her ways, you know, tries to charm everybody. Uh, his wife, Stama, tries to get him to be the councilman. At first, he's just a councilman. And slowly, like I said, maybe the spoilers coming up if you haven't seen the first season, slowly, by the finale, he ends up becoming mayor of the town called Defiance in the sci-fi series known as Defiance. And when he becomes mayor, you finally get to know him a little bit. And I really enjoyed Detectar. He's, once again, I don't know the actor, but Detectar's character is just a great character, a very, you know, bad guy, especially about six, seven episodes in, whenever, you know, the whole, you know, disease breaks out in the town of Defiance. When that disease breaks out, he throws the cure, you know, and then he shoots a few people, and, you know, he keeps calling the people, you know, a piece of schlocko, and he keeps spitting in their face and yelling at them. And then he shoots the guy that, you know, Mayor, you know, Amanda Rosewater once had a, you know, a fling or relationship with. And that one scene, if you know the scene I'm talking about, if you remember that scene, you really get to see what kind of guy Detectar is. And it's just the guy that you really don't want to mess with. I love his performance. I love the, I guess you could say he's a very sinister you know, a very, a character that, you know, doesn't care about anyone. He just wants to, he wants everything for his own personal gain. He doesn't care about the town's interest. He just wants everything for his own personal gain. And overall, just a very deceptive character, a very sinister character, like I said, over, overall. And overall, Detectar playing the villain of the, of the sci-fi series known as Divine of the first season. I really enjoyed him. And it's really cool at the at the end of the finale, you get to see this villain character in a different light. For the first time, you actually feel somewhat of sympathy for the character. Because previously, I didn't really like, I felt for the character and stuff. You know, I, I've always liked villains. I kind of wanted him to succeed in a way because I love seeing this villain character. But for the first time in the series known as The Finds on the Sci-Fi Channel, I felt very emotional, sentimental value. I felt, you know, very sympathetic for his character because of what he had to do. Because now he's a fugitive. He's an outlaw. He was a mayor that killed, you know, one of the main, the military general of the Earth Republic. What, you know, the, one of the main guys in the Earth Republic. And now he's a fugitive to the town. So it seems like, you know, I can't really say this, but it seems like, you know, he's no longer going to be mayor. And him and his wife, Stama, and maybe even his boy, uh, I forget his boy's name. I think his boy's name is Alec or something like that. I could be wrong, though. But nonetheless, he might have to take, you know, his family may have to be on the run because of him killing the general of the Earth Republic. So I felt very sympathetic in that finale scene with him, you know, towards the last, you know, 20, 30 minutes of the episode. I really enjoyed that scene with him and put his character in a different light and overall really liked him. Stama plays his wife. She's a very seductive character, you know, seduces everyone, you know, she's. You know, it's always trying to get her way, always, you know, very sly. Once again, another very sinister character. Uh, she gets involved with, uh, I think her name's Kenya. She gets involved with, you know, Rosewater's sister, you know, Amanda Rosewater's sister, Kenya, the, you know, the prostitute lady, uh, who actually seems like she dies. You know, she gets poisoned by the flask about 20, 30 minutes into the episode, and that was a drastic way to go out. So overall, you know, character-wise, acting-wise, Defiance is a great way in portraying its characters and great actors that also portray the characters. Another great thing about Defiance is the overall sci-fi concept. We have this great terraformed Earth. The masks are great. You know, not, not the, you know, you know what I mean. By mask, I mean costume design. The costume designs are great. The aliens look realistic. They look cool. It's fun to watch. The, the landscapes look great. We have like this old St. Louis, like two episodes in. You see, like, the great landscapes, desert, there's all different sorts of landscapes. You know, so we have a great, you know, science fiction concept about this terraformed Earth. And then I love the concept that gets introduced later on with Orissa's character about whether or not she's this angel of death character. And if she has to choose this destiny, she has to be on, you know. According to the Zukar's character, she's this devouring mother. And apparently she's supposed to be used as some sort of weapon. And she actually gives herself up 
in the last episode, she to she gives herself up to this god is you know is Israel, or however you say the name, uh, which is actually this little girl. And I love the whole concept. Anyways, you know she jumps off into you know to become the weapon, which actually saves Joshua Nolan. I love that whole concept right there because I actually kind of thought Joshua Nolan could be dead, and I was like, you know, Nolan couldn't have been dead. You know, he's the main character of the series. They don't kill someone that main off. You know one season in they'll kill side support side and supporting but never a main character so that was crazy that you know that he was dead so i thought that was you know pretty crazy you know what what effect would that have on season two but then i love the way how he was brought back and then her i guess she's gonna become you know the devouring mother become the weapon against the against the town of defiance i love that whole you know devouring mother angel of death concept the whole two artifacts they're both inside of her i love that whole concept of the series and I love the way it was evaluated with her saving the life of her father, Joshua Nolan. And it seems like Arissa could be dead now. I guess she's like this weapon. I don't really know how her character is going to be used in the second season. I mean, if if she does get cast in the second season, then I know she will have survived. But she might be her character might be used in a different light since she is like this weapon now. Because that was the only way she could save her father, Joshua Nolan's character, was by becoming the weapon against the town of defiance you know the devouring mother the angel of death and overall i like i loved how uh zukar's character also came back into the picture and that was just a great way to introduce you know him back because he was he left you know i think it was you know six seven episodes i think it was six episodes in and you didn't see him for a good four, four or five episodes except for him in that you know coma state and the people like you know prancing around him doing rituals around him uh, and finally he came out of that state you know after he you know done what the gods told him to do and he came back you know and he said you know this is your destiny this is what the gods want for you and you know that was the only way to bring joshua nolan back was to become the devouring mother once again that concept is great so like i said a great sci-fi element of the terraformed earth a great concept they introduced uh, later into the series with Arissa's character. I love the acting in general. And one of the best things about The Finds is not only does it have a sci-fi concept, but all the great sentimental stories they put in there. There's one particular story. At first you think this character is a human. He's an astronaut character. But then you end up, I think it's like the 7th or 8th episode in. Anyways, you end up finding out that this astronaut character is actually an indigene clone or something like that, I believe. And you end up really feeling for his character. And around the end, he ends up getting good to go back to his wife. And, you know, the whole clone thing is introduced. You know, every, the entire town thinks, you know, that he committed suicide, but he just went back to his wife. You know, the great sentimental stories that are told in the sci-fi television series known as Defiance are great. I love all the sentimentality of the stories. Another great character is Mayor uh, Nikolai, or Nicolette, I think was her name, you know, the, the old, the, the, the ex-mayor of the series. I loved her character. She was killed off, I think, eight, nine episodes in uh, by the end of Gene because we found, we found out a great twist of the series that she was, in fact, a disguised in the gene and i loved that whole you know concept with her because we didn't we didn't know about that about her and i love the twist i love how you know the doctor i forget her name but you know the doctor in the gene killed her tried to keep the artifact for herself don't really know why haven't really learned on true intentions yet but i just love that so overall the sci-fi series known as the finds for the entire season one all 12 episodes a great season I don't have any complaints. You know, it's a perfect show that overall I really enjoyed. The second season will not come out till June of 2014. And overall, it looks like it's going to be a great season. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the series. And overall, some of my thoughts and theories, uh, at, some of my thoughts and theories on the series, looks like no one's going to be looking for his daughter, Arissa. I'm pretty sure Arissa's still going to be around, though, like I said, she might be in a different life, but I'm sure. You know, she's still going to be trying to make her own destiny, not become that, you know, angel of death character that her prophecy says she has to be. Uh, I think Daytek Tar and his, and his family now are going to be fugitives, it seems like, because of what they did. It seems like the Earth Republic is going to take over the town of Defiance, so it looks like the Earth Republic, you know, went from being kind of supporting characters. They're going to become pretty big characters, I think, in the second season. Those are my theories. Anyways, that's pretty much my thoughts and opinions and my review of the entire season one, all 12 episodes of the sci-fi series known as Defiance. Once again, thanks for watching another video by Cinec Geek. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to our page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos by Cinec Geek.